back, everybody, to another episode of Overtime. My name is Austin Arnold, and let's get to the Kent State Athletics action that happened all around this week. Let's first get to the baseball team, which, as we all know, they won 2-3 to three in their season series with the Seton Hall Pirates last weekend. They now had a four-game series with Northern Illinois this weekend. Let's get to the action and see how they did. The Kent State Golden Flashes baseball team was trying to build off their recent success against Seton Hall last weekend and translate it into this weekend's performance against MAC opponent Northern Illinois University. Unfortunately, in that four-game series, Kent State was only able to get one win out of the four, and that win was March 21st, Sunday, when they were able to take down the Huskies 8-4. to However, in the doubleheader Saturday... And on Friday, the Kent State Golden Flashes lost by scores of 3-6 to six on Friday, 1-2 to two for the first game of the doubleheader on Saturday, and 0-3 in the second game of the doubleheader on Saturday. The Flashes were only able to score four runs in the first three games until they offloaded eight runs in a winning effort on Sunday. The Golden Flashes will now have to get ready and prepare for a quick turnaround as they play the Dayton University Flyers next week on the road in a four-game series. And they are currently at 7-8 and eight on the season. With the Kent State baseball team now in the rearview mirror for this episode, let's go ahead and get to the Kent State softball team. The softball team was on a six-game losing streak heading into their four-game series against the Toledo Rockets this past weekend. Were the softball team able to get back to their golden ways? Let's check it out. The Golden Flashes softball team lost six straight games heading into this series with the Toledo Rockets. And fortunately, the Golden Flashes were able to win three out of the four games on this four-game series, with Toledo winning their only game on Sunday at 12 p.m., which was the first game of the second doubleheader, with that game going to extra innings and Toledo ultimately winning 10-15 to in 12 innings. Regardless, this Kent State team was able to put the pressure on Toledo all series long, and Toledo wasn't able to catch out to any leads at all. With gold, with the Golden Flashes now heading to Northern Illinois next weekend to take on the Huskies, this will be a strong testament to see how the Golden Flashes can play in MAC play, as right now Kent State is 6 and 11 overall on the season while being 3-1 and one in the conference. The first game is next Friday at 4 p.m. Did you think we were only going to talk about the baseball and softball teams this week? Nope, not going to happen. Let's go ahead and get to the other Kent State athletics that happened around Kent State this past week. The Kent State volleyball team went 1-2 and two the past week after losing games to Ohio University and Northern Illinois. The women were able to rebound in the second game of the Northern Illinois series by winning three sets to zero and will play Ohio University on March 23rd at 6 p.m. to try and reclaim a win and get even with the Bobcats. From there, let's go to the women's field hockey team where they are now on a three-game winning streak as they beat Bellarmine University on Friday and Saturday 15 to nothing collectively in two days as there was an 8 to nothing win and a 7 to nothing win. The women's field hockey team plays at home on Friday against Appalachian State University in a two-game series where they will host Appalachian State on Friday and Saturday. The women's soccer team has not won a game since March 7th as they have lost to Miami University, Ohio University, and Bowling Green University as they will now have a game against Akron on the road March 28th, so Sunday. That game's at 1 p.m., and let's see if the Golden Flashes can get a win on the road. And finally, the Kent State Golden Flashes gymnastics team finished their season at the MAC Championships over the weekend as they finished third out of seven teams that were at the championships. Great season for the ladies, and we cannot wait for next year. And that is all for this week's episode of Overtime. Be sure to tune in next week where we will have baseball, softball, and everything you can think of going on this spring semester. From Austin Arnold, I'm signing off. Have a great night, everyone.